Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, super excited because I'm going to be repotting my little baby Monstera here. So this is how it's looking. It's in a six inch pot and I'm going to transfer it up to an eight inch. So I have this terracotta pot. I haven't repotted it since I bought it from the nursery, which is about, I don't know, like maybe two, three months ago. And I'm starting to see like roots peeking out of the bottom. So I think it's time and I thought why not do a repot with me and answer some questions. So there's been um, this like planty YouTuber tag that's going around right now and um, nobody tagged me because nobody knows me but I thought I'd answer those questions anyways. So I have them right here so that's why I'm going to be looking down at my laptop below. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, but before we do so, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out and that way you don't miss any new videos that I post. Okay, so let's get started. I have quite a few to repot today. So I have maybe four. We'll see how long it takes. But yeah, I'm going to start off with one Monstera. Um, so I have my potting soil down here. So it's just regular potting soil that I use like maybe 70% and then I add a couple handfuls of perlite which ends up being maybe like 30% or so. So it's like super airy as you can see. Lots of perlite in there. And yeah I actually had to like go to Canadian Tire and do like a curbside pickup to get this today and it took about half an hour so really glad I finally got it. Um, so yeah, first I'm going to start off with the question, never have I ever killed a cactus? Yeah, I definitely have killed a cactus. Um, I used to think that they didn't need water at all, so I would like literally not water it for who knows how long and it literally shriveled up and died. So that was in the beginning of... Oh, let's just throw the top. Um, it was kind of in the beginning of my plant journey, so long time ago and um, I've also killed a lot of succulents. They just don't do well with me. Okay. But so far I haven't killed any of my like house plants that I've bought. Um, you know like tropical indoor house plants, not like the succulent or cacti. I don't really buy too many of those. Okay, get that out of the way. So these are the roots on my Monstera. It's not super root bound, but I think it's about time to repot it anyway. Um, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna backfill it. Um, Let's go ahead with question two. Never have I ever took a plant cutting that was on the ground of a plant nursery. No, I haven't. Um, and I definitely wouldn't do that unless like I asked them because that seems kind of like stealing. And not about that. <laughs> uh, number three. Never have I ever spent more than $100 on one plant. Ooh, I have yet to do that. Um, I find it's probably a lot easier to do that with like um, ordering plants online because uh, they can get expensive really quickly and you have to pay for shipping which adds up as well. Uh, okay. Oh and also I'm not going to be drinking while I'm answering these questions. I know you're supposed to with the whole never have I ever thing but I don't think that's really sanitary to be drinking something while you're potting up and touching a bunch of dirt. Um, and I also don't really drink, so I don't think that would really work out for me anyway. It's looking pretty good. I love all the perlite in here. Oh my god, it's going to be such well-draining soil. Okay. Okay, number four. Never have I bought a plant just because it was trending on Instagram. Mm. I don't know. I think I kind of bought this Monstera initially because I kept seeing it in all the photos and I wasn't really like into it initially. But now that I've bought it, I'm really happy I did. 
um, just because like such a cute plant and I like buying kind of uh, some smaller plants just so you can watch it grow. Uh, so with this Monstera, I mean, I clearly only bought a six inch Monstera so that I could kind of watch the fenestrations come in and everything. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. So I would say I have bought a plant that has been trending and this is one of them. Okay. I like to kind of pack this little in just so like I make sure that the plant doesn't just wobble around. And I have this like a uh, wooden snake uh, bamboo. Actually no it's not bamboo. It's just like a wooden dowel kind of stuck into the um, pot just so it can kind of keep my monstera upright. Okay. It's looking pretty good. It's looking straight. And yeah, it's about time to water it as well. Ooh, it feels a lot heavier now that it's in a terracotta pot. So I have my watering can here. Um, actually, I think I'll water everything at the end. Okay, so this guy is done. Looking beautiful. Uh, try, I try not to put the soil all the way up to the top, uh, just because when I water it, I don't want the soil to kind of like run off the sides because that's never good. So that's done. Okay, next question is, never have I ever met another plant tuber? No, I have not because I just started YouTube, so I don't really know anybody. Uh, next one, never have I ever neglected a plant and purposely let it die a slow death. Ooh, I don't know. Before I answer that, let's show you the next guy that I'm gonna pot up. So this one is my Hoya Matilde. So it's currently in sphagnum moss, which unfortunately it is, and I have to repot it, even though it's such a big plant, and I have to kind of take it out of its trellis. And yeah, I'm not really looking too forward, looking forward to that. Let me see if I should elevate this so you guys can see me a little bit better. Okay, um, so I don't really let plants die. And that's partially because I give all the plants that I don't like to my mom. And then she cares for it. So <laughs> I just banish them from my room into the kitchen or her bedroom so that she can uh, kind of care for it. Um, I mainly do that when I notice that the plant is declining or I start not liking it as much anymore. Like I kind of, you know, it doesn't spark joy anymore. Or... I just don't have the space for it and I want space for new plants. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I wouldn't say like I'll let a plant die. I just like give it away. <laughs> okay, next one is never have I ever purchased a plant and then later regretted buying it. What plant was that? Um, okay, so that was definitely my peperomia. Why is this so stuck? Am I good? Okay. It's my peperomia ripple frost. So I initially bought that plant like from Home Depot. I thought it was really cute and I really liked it. Um, but you know, it just seemed to like not do well in my care. So I gave it to my mom and she's been taking care of it now. Uh, but otherwise all the other plants that I've bought, I've been really liking. Oh, this is so difficult to undo. I'm scared. I'm going to like break a branch. Okay. This is going to take a little bit more focus. Maybe I'll just like fast forward through this. So it looks like I have finally untangled it. There's this, there's this one really long <laughs> uh, strand, and yeah, let's take this baby out. 
So the only reason why I actually have to like remove this from its medium is because all of this is in moss and um, moss doesn't really have any like nutrients so um, I was told that I should replant this into some soil after it's been acclimated into my home. I don't even know how to take this out. Do you see this like super stressed me? Okay. Okay, I think I got it all over. So, I'm gonna try to put this trellis into a bigger pot so this one's a five inch. And I guess I'll just have a look at that. <laughs> um, but first, let's try to get all this moss off of this without damaging too much of the roots. Oh, one casualty. Eh. How do people get moss out? I honestly don't know. And this is why I plant everything in soil. I don't even like to root things in moss because I find it's just so hard to take it apart afterwards. But yeah, um, moving on with the Never Have I Ever, let's see, what question are we on? Never have I ever bargained with a plant seller for a sale of a plant. I have. Didn't work out though, so I don't recommend doing it. <laughs> that was like a, a long time ago that I used to do that. Um, I definitely don't anymore just because I know all the hard work that it goes into uh, rooting plants and caring for them. So I kind of just, you know, take it as it is. So if they say this is the price, then that's what I pay for it. And I don't think I usually purchase a lot of my plants from like Facebook sellers or like private sellers. I usually just um, buy them from, oh, there's a piece of bark in there. Okay. Uh, I usually buy them from like nurseries or like, you know, small businesses. Um, but yeah, next one, never have I ever killed a rare plant. Well, I don't think I really have a lot of rare plants, if any. I would say my most rare ones are usually just my Hoyas, and I haven't killed any Hoyas yet. Okay, next one. Never have I ever traveled over an hour to shop and visit a plant nursery. I definitely have. <laughs> um, I've been to this um, nursery called... Valley, Valley View Nursery, which is in Markham, um, and I came from downtown that day, downtown Toronto, so that actually took like an hour with traffic and everything, and going to Crystal Star was about like, maybe like 45 minutes, but that's because there was no traffic, but I think normally if there was traffic, it would be a little bit longer. I don't know if these are, this is all sphagnum moss, or if some of it's like roots. <laughs> it's kind of really hard to tell once it's like all in there. Never have I ever showered my plants. Who does that? No, I didn't. <laughs> like, I might bring it into the bathroom if I really think they need the humidity and, like, leave it on my counter, but I don't bring it into the shower. Um, also, because there's no window in my bathroom, so I don't keep plants there normally. Um, but yeah. If you do shower with your plants, no judgment. Do whatever you want. I think this is the best I can do. <laughs> um, I would say it's like I took out quite a bit of moss. Um, I'm trying to clean this up. So, this one, this is going to be my new pot. I'm just going to fill it with some soil. finally set up 
So I was gonna have it in this like um terracotta pot that doesn't have drainage. Okay, and now time to trellis it back up. You guys see? Oh, I'm like sweating. This is such a workout. Start off with this piece. Oh, this piece actually is like split into two. It's very interesting. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. Once I water it, it'll be okay. Okay, that one's finally done. Okay, what's next? So, uh, never have I ever went on a no plant buy and it was successful. Um, yeah, so I tried to do it once. It didn't really work out because, you know, I like plants too much. So after I actually um, made my order from Crystal Star Nursery, I told myself I wasn't gonna buy any more Hoyas, especially. At least until my order came, and yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, so next up, I'm gonna actually pot up my propagation. So that one is my Syngolium arrowhead plant. Actually, I probably should. So this one, I actually propagated myself. The roots are pretty good. So I have two cuttings here. Let me detangle them. Okay. So as you can see, the roots on this guy, pretty crazy. It's a lot of them. Um, and then this one has a little bit less, but it's still okay. So I'm gonna pop these two together. So syngoniums grow really quickly, so that's why I usually like to pot into a little bit bigger of a pot. Just so, you know, you don't have to repot it so quickly. Like, I want it in here for a year. <laughs> a year or two, I don't want to have to like repot it again in fall or something. And then just press it down, make sure it's nice and snug. Oh, lost leaf. <laughs> That's okay. So usually with water propagations, after I pop them up into soil, I try to keep the soil a little bit more moist. That's looking pretty good. It looks kind of wonky right now, but it'll, it'll be okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to water these before I end the video. Repotted all my babies. It's looking great. Oh, yeah, I see the water straining out now. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm actually so exhausted from repotting all of these now. <laughs> And yeah, I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Um, so if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. And comment down below what plants you have to repot because of spring. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.